So this year marks 20 years since asbestos was banned in New South Wales, but we're living with the legacy every day in our built environment still. And the EPA is running a series of campaigns to raise awareness about these important issues. We asked our friends at Men's Shed, who are generally quite uh, the handymen, to answer some questions and you might be surprised by some of the results. Okay, I'm here today because the EPA are wanting to find out what we know as members of the Men's Shed regarding the use of asbestos. When was asbestos banned in Australia? Uh, I think it would be 1991. I'm not sure, I think 91. I think 2003. I would hope 1991. Ah, 2003. This year marks 20 years since asbestos was completely banned in Australia. That's a pity because it literally means we've lost an additional 12 years. So there's a lot more people out there, I would imagine, with an asbestos problem, lung problem, than I imagined. How much asbestos remains inside the built environment across Australia? I'll go for the lower of the two, 640,000 tonnes. 6.4 million tonnes. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the higher figure, 6.4 million. 640,000 tonnes. Answer is A, 6.4 million tonnes. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a hell of a lot. Asbestos is in how many homes in Australia? One in 10, one in three. And they've been using it for a long while. I would say in 10 at the moment could be one in three. I'd say A, one in 10. I'm gonna go the lower again, one in 10. Answer is B, one in three. I'm not surprised because just about everything had it on until quite recently. When does asbestos become dangerous? Two answers, it's dangerous in any form when it is disturbed or deteriorating. It's dangerous in any form, especially when it starts deteriorating. From my experience, it's going to be when it's disturbed because that's when the particles are now airborne and are easily inhaled. Oh, the answer said B, if asbestos is left alone in good condition, it's low risk. Do you know what disease asbestos can cause? Is asbestosis is the one that I'm most aware of. I know, I've heard of asbestosis. Mesothelioma. Yeah, mesothelioma, cancer of the lung, ovary, larynx. That's a pretty extensive list. Mesothelioma has long latency period, with symptoms typically appearing 20 to 60 years after exposure. There's still people out there that could yet be uh, discovered to have one of these diseases. How can you protect yourself from asbestos? The options are wear a mask during any home DIY or innovation, get a licensed asbestos professional. I'd probably do both of those things. I wouldn't dare do anything with it. I'd get somebody who knows what they're doing because I don't know what harm I'd do myself. The danger is you don't know what you don't know. It is easier, safer and often cheaper to get a professional to do the job for you. I sense that there is a lack of awareness in the general community about asbestos, about its dangers, about its prevalence and about the risks involved in having it in the air. There are so many people that, that just undertake things without sort of really thinking about it. But having seen what goes on when there is asbestos in a house, and you see these guys with spacesuits on the whole thing, you've got to say, hey, this doesn't look real smart. It doesn't look like the sort of thing that I should be doing. Planning some DIY? Be asbestos ready in three easy steps. Think ahead. Was the home built before 1990? Plan ahead to protect your health. And always call a licensed asbestos professional. Search Asbestos New South Wales.